Yeah, I don't have a real uh, bassy voice, but boy, that thing, I mean, I, I uh, got it to sound okay, but I shouldn't have to go into the radio and change all these settings to, to make it sound like it's not mud. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want something that's sharp in there, and I, I, what, what I do with mine, I, 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 got a, I shoot the audio from my microphone, which has got a, a Hal Ford cartridge in it, I shoot the mic, that into the uh, a little uh, compressor that I've got from a voice gear, and then I shoot it into the into the K3, and shape it from there, because otherwise my, my voice is really much more great pileups. QSL, what actual frequency are you on? Because I couldn't tell earlier. Uh, I'm on .32. Okay, I'm on point four two five, so I wasn't sure, because um, you know I don't know what your voice sounds like in person. Yeah, um, well, I'm, I'm put it on point three two. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, that's point thirty two kilo golf seven hotel Victor Romeo Prescott Valley Arizona. Yeah, it sounds more natural. It's got a little less shrillness to it. Okay, yeah. So yeah, these radios are selling the field version without the plastic speaker for uh, eight ninety nine. So you pay nine ninety four if you uh, in the states over here, and uh, I, I think it's a, a pretty good radio for a cheap price. It's a little bit better than the seventy three hundred. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, for, for less than a grand, it, it's hard to find a decent radio anymore unless it's Yeah, I really like the old um, the FTDAX uh, one thousand MPs and. And the old big huge ICOM 781s and 765s, the 756 Pro radios, which a lot of people bag on, but I, I think the 756 Pro radio has really good transmit audio. It might not have the best receiver in the world, but it, you know I'm mostly just a rag chewer, so I uh, I get guys like you when I'm driving around usually. <laughs> Over. Yeah, well, yeah, I had the, I had the 775s and the audio, audio one. Those things were absolutely spectacular. What I'm not really fond of is the is the, is the flex radio audio. Oh yeah, no, the 775 DSP was kind of uh, a very uh, hard to find radio at this point, and it did sound good. Well, I had a pair of them, and uh, and, and Thor took care of them. Oh man. Yeah, the um, the the MPs with the 200 watt and the external power supply. I, I'm still kind of trying to find one where somebody thinks it's not made out of gold. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'll tell you what. One of the best radios around right now is the old uh, that's uh, a fairly inexpensive radio. It's the K3. The old K3 is you can pick it up for around 1100, and that's one hell of a radio. I didn't know they were going that cheap. Yeah, I've got an old Kenwood 942, but uh, it needs some work, of course, like all Kenwoods, right? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Yeah, the only thing worse than that would be a Volkswagen. Uh, or, or a Yugo. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you go fix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, I, 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 um, I'm really sold on these, on these old trips. I'm 77, so this is probably the latest radio they're going to get. And this one's uh, got a ton of filters in it, and I have beat the living crap out of it. And uh, it just keeps on taking I have no issues with it at all. I've had it for seven years. I probably got a couple hundred thousand cues on it. Yeah, you're, you're 10 over 9 right now, and usually when I'm in the mobile, you're 5 9, sometimes you're 10 over, sometimes you'll dip down a little bit. Um, we worked you uh, a couple of days ago, we were on the way to drive out to the Grand Canyon, I think it was on a, uh, not a Sunday, it was a Wednesday or Thursday, and I mean, you were just booming in. Yeah, well, we, we can really get propagation on 10 meters in the afternoon to the U.S., so it's, it's a whole lot of fun. Hey, I, uh, a buddy of mine was going to stop me at the station I was talking to, so I'm going to say 73. Oh, I'm sure there'll be some. Thanks for thanks for the QSO. It's good to uh, to have a QSO every once in a while. This is KG7HVR 73, and we'll work you again from the mobile. Sounds good. 73, Victor 31, X-ray, X-ray. Uh, QRZ, Victor 31, X-ray, X-ray. Calling CQ10, CQ10, Victor 31, X-ray, X-ray. Victor 31, X-ray, X-ray. That was kind of cool. Calling CQ10, CQ10, Victor 31, X-ray, X-ray. Nobody out there. Weird. Calling CQ10, CQ10, Victor 31 X-ray, X-ray, Victor 31 X-ray, X-ray. See something up there. 
I just can't believe the man's open. He's in Belize. Should we see what else is on here? This thing sounds very good into that Yesu speaker. The old 101 speaker. And the DNR. You hear the AGC settle down, but it works so good. Oh, AGC's in auto. definitely like this radio. I would like to see a little more band without having to go in here and do that. I'm not sure what that actually did. You see all these lines? That's like somebody's uh, outdoor lights coming on, or maybe my solar just did something weird. I do have solar out here. But these are evenly spaced. I know you've uh, centered it, which means the band will move around the marker. I don't really care for. And it looks like if you hit this a couple of times, it must change the span. We're at a 100 kilohertz span. We're now a thousand. Center. A hundred. Ah, oh, interesting. So each one has its own setting. Now, if you go like this, you'll see that do there, and then eventually it starts to do that. And you back it off, and the band will stay where it's at. Which is kind of cool. Um, it looks like I think 10's probably fucking done. But, um... Cursor. I don't know what cursor is. Center, cursor. Fix. You see another signal right there. Pretty strong. Yeah. So I put it there. Can I do put some extra color to make it bridge? And when I'm putting this together, it's about, oh, there's somebody here, I just really like having a waterfall on the radio, with, you know, a lot of other stuff, the 756 Pro isn't real good at seeing us, with just the spectrum, you really don't know what's going on that well. 